The next setup area we're going to discuss is the appointment status button. The setting is check-in automated workflow settings. When you have a row that indicates the current status, which would be the status I'm seeing in my inbound patient. So currently this patient is in an arrive status. When I see that, if I want my button to automatically read checked in because the next thing after arriving a patient, I'm going to check them in. This means that they've completed all their paperwork where when they're scheduled and they are, I set them to an arrive status when they check in at the front desk, they're completing paperwork or any kind of intakes, et cetera. So from scheduled or confirmed, I'm expecting that button to read as arrived. A no-show would just read as no-show, checked in, would present me with checked out. If I see checked out, I'm not going to be presented with any status, canceled, the same. And anything not checked is not going to be displayed in my drop-down for selection. Maybe they're no longer in use or not necessary in this step. And finally, I have conflict, which also has no setting. It's available, but it has no setting. So I'm going to save this. And now you can see when I select an arrived patient, my button reads as checked in because that's what I told it to in my settings. When I select scheduled, it shows arrived because again, that's what I told it to do in my settings. And on conflict, remember my setting had nothing set. So when I select conflict, clear out of the patient message. Notice my button goes to checked in. The reason is when nothing is designated in this block here for the new status, then it will default to the status of the tab that you're in. So anything not configured by the user will just present you with a check-in button. However, let's say this conflict appointment, I did not want it to go to checked in, but rather I wanted to cancel it. I could do that by just using the drop-down and selecting that canceled status. The drop-down arrow presents the statuses that you've selected or enabled on this column here. Remember that when you're in checked out, you may have different desires for status changes for these patients, and therefore you configure your checkout workflow separate than you do your check-in.